If you have been hearing about this word called prompt engineering, you might know that there are certain tips and tricks that are available for you to get something done from ChatGPT. For example, if you want to make ChatGPT as your data science assistant, then you need to probably tell ChatGPT that, hey ChatGPT, you need to act as a data scientist and answer the following questions and then you can start asking question. It's not only for a data scientist, but for any task that you want to get ChatGPT done from, you need to tell ChatGPT to do a role play and then that's how you can ask a question to ChatGPT. This capability is not very widely known and a lot of people have been struggling with this. And one of the easiest way that you can get started with this is using something called awesome ChatGPT prompts by Fatih. So Fatih Kadir Ekin has created a very comprehensive list of prompts where you can tell ChatGPT to act as a particular entity or a person or a role and then you can get things done from it. For example, you can make ChatGPT act as a Linux terminal or you can make ChatGPT act as a storyteller or you can make ChatGPT act as a personal stylist and you can you know ask ChatGPT to be all these characters or roles or persons and you can get things done from ChatGPT. But what if, but what if you can take this one step further from things that are not available here? For example, if you see this document, you have got 144 roles, 144 entities or 144 different types of things that you can make ChatGPT do it. But what I'm going to show you is you can make ChatGPT do things more than this and you don't need any special prompt engineering skills because thanks to this amazing Gradio application by Merv, Merv is a machine learning engineer from Hugging Face. So Merv has created something called a ChatGPT prompt generator. So this is basically a BART model trained on the same data set that I showed you. So when you come to this Gradio application, which is a chat GPT prompt generator, all you have to do is you have to input a type of persona or a role, what you want chat GPT to do. For example, I can mention that is already available here. For example, I can say Linux terminal, and then it is going to help me with the prompt that will help me make chat GPT like a Linux terminal. I can copy and paste it and I can start working on it. But on the other hand, I can make ChatGPT do things that are not predefined, that are not mentioned in this particular document, which is awesome ChatGPT prompts. And that's exactly where the BART model comes into picture. First, I've already tried Linux terminal and then see a photographer and then click this. So it says, I want you to act as a photographer. I'll provide you with images and you will create captions for them. My first request is I need help creating a photo book. Okay, cool. So I can copy this and paste it and then see what happens. I can copy this and paste it here and then send enter. And then it says, sure, I can help you create a photo book. Here are a few things to consider when creating a photo book. And then it starts helping me. I'm going to stop generating. I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to give a different role. I'm going to say data scientist or probably I should say a creative writer and click submit and then see what it says. So there is a queue so it's it's going to take 15 seconds for it to run even though it's running on a gpu i want you to act as a creative writer my first request is i need help creating an engaging cre creative piece for my upcoming book you can copy it and paste it and then you can now edit the prompt for example you can say uh, instead of saying simply an upcoming book you can say an upcoming book about data science is a shitty job and then send it. Let's see what it does. So I want you to act as a creative writer. And my first request is I need help creating an engaging creative piece for my up upcoming book about data science is a shitty job. Oh, wow. ChatGPT is trying to act really very good. So it doesn't want to call data science a shitty job, but uh, it can give positive creative prompts. That's that's weird. Um, but the whole idea is like this. You can go here, create different prompts for different roles. I can say I'm a social media uh, content creator and you can click submit 
and then it is going to give you the initial prompt and you can use that prompt and then paste it on ChatGPT and then get a decent response. Um, hopefully we don't offend ChatGPT now. So you can go here and then paste and you can say something like I need help creating content for my um, machine learning focused Twitter account and then you can send it and then let's see if it can generate yeah now now it is not a, like it, it didn't take it seriously and it, it's giving so now i can st stop generating and i can simply say give me examples or give me three examples so it's going to give me three examples of tweet tweet account uh, sorry tweets that i can use and then post it on my twitter account this is how you can make chat gpt do something for yourself while not having the prompting skills. All you have to do is go to this Gradio application, which I'll link it in the YouTube description that's created by Murph. Go input your persona and then get the initial prompt, paste it in chat GPT and then modify whatever you want. And then voila, you have got the response and you have started making chat GPT do things for you that otherwise would require certain prompt engineering skills. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to use ChatGPT um, for your own use case, like for the role that you want. But if you don't want to use this application, this entire thing is based on this. You can try a lot of things in this. For example, you can try a movie critic, screenwriter. You can try all these things. I'm not sure like how, when ChatGPT started doing these kind of things, for example, you know what? I cannot create negative opinions. Um, it's, it's surprising. I've, I've created these kind of things before. Maybe the latest update, they want to be very positive. I'm not sure, but this is the state today where they are not letting you create. So I'm going to create, I'm going to try one last thing. I'm going to say, um, I'm a screenwriter and I'm going to submit. After I submit, it is going to give me the initial prompt and I'm going to copy it. And uh, I'm going to again ask something negative. And instead of using something like shitty, I'm going to say, I'm going to paste it. I want you to act as a screenwriter. I'll provide you with the script and you will, you will write the script. My first request is I need help writing a screenplay for a movie data science, data science hell. Let's see if it takes this or if it's going to actually, okay, cool. Again, you don't want to do negative chat GPT. I understand, but you know, certain things in life is negative so let's 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 leave it i need help writing a screenplay about data science is the sexiest job in 21st century okay let's see this is quite positive let's see if chat gpt can actually write it i mean i mean honestly i don't understand why chat gpt because i've 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 done those things before Looks like the latest update is trying to teach me something, but let's okay. It started writing the screenplay about data science being the sexiest job in the 21st century. Few things to consider. Okay, cool. I'm going to say stop generating. Give me examples. I just, I just don't want the thought leadership from ChatGPT, but uh, please give me example. And I usually ask uh, ChatGPT, give me the examples, a story, follow the Journey of a young person who discovers a passion for data science, works hard to build a career, blah, 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 blah. And then it, it gives me. So this is how you can make chat GPT as a role, like something, and then you can get things done from chat GPT and without a lot of prompting skills, I link this one, which is the awesome chat GPT prompts. And I'll also link this one, which is a chat GPT prompt generated that Murph created and the one is the Fatih's one. And I'll link both in the YouTube description so you can check it out and use your ChatGPT free version to the fullest before they make something paid. I'll see you in the next video. Happy prompting.